<laughs> hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. How are we all? What a week it's been, would we say? <laughs> um, right then, right then, a few little housekeeping things. Um, I forgot to look it up. A week on Saturday, I think it's 23rd of November, is the next Tribe of Light Zoom call. And you just register in the link um, in the description box below. And uh, for a dollar, $20,000, donate whichever you like, just to have an amazing chat with everybody and just chew the cud. They're just wonderful. I always come out, they're an hour and a half, and when they're finished, I'm like, I just feel so full of love. So if you want to join us all, please, please do. And I just would like to say welcome to um, any new subscribers. It's quite bizarre. Um, and many of you may be familiar with a lady called Janine. She does Tarot by Janine, and um, she sometimes puts my channelings up, which she did um, last week. And <laughs> woof, woof. it was like I've had 1,300 new subscribers, so welcome, welcome. <laughs> Far out. I usually get 100 subscribers or that's what it shows in about, I don't know, six weeks or something. So I was like, oh my God. And something like 49,000 views. I'm like, well, <laughs> what a week it's been. Um, so um, welcome everybody. What I do here is a little chat, as you can see, to the cud just a little bit. And then I bring in hopefully White Cloud and the Federation of Light. And in the last few months, there's been an, an energy that um, I've named the messenger. And who knows, Uncle Tom Cobley and all. <laughs> so um, there we go. Just a quick thing. Thank you so much for all your messages about Hope I Find a New House. Uh, to move to. Um, well, I didn't go into great detail in my channeling because it just wasn't appropriate, you know, but um, I was offered to get out in February when my lease is up or stay till the next December. And um, I, I just thought I can't, I can't stay here for another year because I love it so much. And it would always be hanging over me. And at the time, rash decision it may have been, I decided now I'm going to get out, find someone new and move on. Well, since then, the landlord has contacted me and he's such, there's such lovely people. And um, so long story short, you don't need to know all this. You'll be very happy to know that I'm going to stay in my beautiful soul sanctuary for um, until December next year. And who knows after that, we shall, long story, but you don't need to know it all. This isn't what this is all about. But thank you all for your well wishes. So kind, so kind of you. And everybody's so positive. So then, so then. Uh, well, along with the 1,300 new subscribers, of course, comes many more comments and many more emails. So diverse in what they had to say, you know, because people, people, well, how will I put this? People, um, they have their own thoughts and opinions on who they choose to follow, would we say, or, um, you know, in the United States of America or not the United States of America, anywhere in the world, people, whatever, have their opinions on who they think should be running the United States of America. And they're so different and it's so, I find it like mind boggling, although I'm aware, if you know what I mean, I'm like far out how different people feel about these things. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa. But at the same time, people say, what are your thoughts, Blossom? My thoughts are, we have been told for a long time that the light has won. That's all I care about. <laughs> the light has won. So whatever plays out from here on in, I feel is going to um, show true colours, would we say. Um, and, and we just have to go along with what we feel in our hearts. At the end of the day, if you're disappointed, very, dis very disappointed about the outcome of the last week's little little election <laughs> um then it's not it's it's about putting our light into the world isn't it? that's why the federation come through not to discuss politics or anything like that they are here to help us remember 
who we are and why we are here. And why we are here is to keep the home fires burning. <laughs> you know, keep that light of ours shining, keep it steadfast, keep it positive for whatever is about to, to happen next. And none of us know that. None of us know that. Big surprises, who knows? Or we could be sitting here this time next year going, well, bloody hell, what was that all about? You know what I mean? So it's like, um, hold on one second, please. Chief, Chief, well, sorry, sorry. My dog is scratching in his, his collar, makes such a noise. Sorry, <laughs> so professional. Um. Anyway, so yes, that's what it's about. So I don't wish to sort of talk anything more about that because it's, it's, I'm just the messenger. I'm just the messenger. And, you know, so we just have to, I think if we're, if you're here to listen to what has to be said, what, what comes through, then you will see that it's not, it's about holding our light. And as they say, we need to hold this light so strongly, so strongly now. I don't know about you in this last week, but dear God, the energies. I was like, <laughs> one time, I think it was on the Thursday, I think I, I've been somewhere in the morning. I came home and I just, I just went <laughs> under the sofa. I was gone out for two and a half hours. But I say out, I was like trying to open my eyes. <laughs> come on blood and get up you got things to do I was just whacked out and I felt that I think and maybe a lot of people were the same that our energy was needed elsewhere during that time just to calm the waters calm the waters and so much had been stirred up you know so there was a lot of work we needed to do just to keep that in place I, I think that's what it was about Dear Lord, they were strong, really strong energies and feeling bits of dizzy and whoa, you know. So there we go. There we go. That's I, I've got really, you know, keep holding the light. That's all I can say about it. Keep holding the light. But amazing how passionate, how passionate people are on this subject. Okay. I don't think, really, I, I, I haven't got any funny stories to tell <laughs> um, or anything like that. I just I just need to get this video done today and um, all is well. I've just been, see, I'll, I'll waffle on now, but I won't. I've just been to my grandson, who's 11 in December, his assembly, because he has been made the technical leader for next year. And he's chucked a bit, oh, oh so I'm so the proud grandmother. <laughs> I'm called, he calls me Nanu. Kids call me Nanu from the, you know, the Robin Williams, Mork and Mindy, Nanu, Nanu. <laughs> it's rather appropriate, don't we think? Oh, but it was so lovely, so lovely. So I'm on quite a good, you know, I'm on a high and um, all is well. So I really, truly, <laughs> I won't waffle on anymore. Oh, see, see, I'm on it now. My landlord, who um, wrote to me, they such a lovely couple, much younger than me. And he told me, he said a thing which I'd never heard before. And I thought I must remember to share it with everybody. And he was saying, you know, they'd had some trials, as everybody has in their times. But these were, uh, this was a particular saying that they always remembered, which was, and some of you might have heard it. Um, hold on. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I got it. <laughs> there are some people who are so poor, all they have is money. I thought that was profound. Don't you? I think it's just perfect. Just great. Glad I've remembered that. Is there anything else I'm supposed to be remembering? Don't think so. Don't think so. Which means I shall start taking a few deep breaths and um, I presume, but we never know these days, that white cloud will come through and we'll see what, what transpires from there. So perhaps this white cloud, if it is him, coming through, 
he is my gatekeeper for the new people. So whoever comes through, White Cloud is a gatekeeper to make sure all is all is well. And to say don't know why, that I'm in total control when I'm bringing energies through. If I want to stop it just like that, I can. So just letting you know that I'm, I'm aware. I stay in. I don't go out like some people. They leave their body and the energy comes in and speaks through them. And then the, the person who owns the body comes back in and they don't know anything that's been said. But that doesn't happen for me. Unfortunately, because sometimes I'm like, what, what are you, what, what, you know, interfering all the time. So, um, yeah, so I stay in this side and I'm fully aware of what's going on the whole time. Okay. For you oldies who have been following me for years and years and years, um, enjoy. And for you newbies, enjoy. Okay. Thank you. A very warm welcome, as Blossom has sent, to each one, those who are new and those who are old, followers, not as in age. I come through, and it is an honor for me to do so, to try to assist. That is my heart's desire to assist you throughout all the energies that uh, are upon your planet to do otherwise in remembering your essence, the light that you are, the light that you are now and Forever. The light that you are when you are not within this human form. For it is very, uh, it, it is very, uh, wait, we cannot find the word. This doesn't happen very often. Oh, it is very beneficial for you to recognize the light that you are when you are elsewhere, that strength, that power, that is beyond that which you, inside of this human flesh, know yourself to be. And if you say, like Blossom says, well, we know that white cloud, but how do we keep accessing that light, that power, that we are to do what we came here to do? And my answer is simple, my friends. You breathe and you say, I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. That is one way. You can do it whichever way you choose. You can just breathe and say, I am love. 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 Do what suits you, but allow it to resonate within your heart space so that as you breathe in that knowing, you can feel that strength and that power come into you. And you are all understanding more and more. 
not to become attached to all that is going on around you. And you may say, but why, Cloud, you are not here to witness what is taking place. It is appalling, most of it, that is taking place. How can we not feel for these people that this is happening to and this is happening to? I am not saying do not feel for them. I am saying do not become attached to it. Do you see? You know now, you are, Blossom is saying you can't say that, but I can, with a smile on my face. You are grown up enough. Blossom is saying I am so cheeky, but I mean it in the sense of you have, you have evolved within your understanding of self so much over these years gone by. You know of this. You know this inside of yourself. That you know that the way to assist all these circumstances is to send love. To be love over and over and over again. This is why we come through to keep reminding you. And you can say, but we have heard you say this so many times. And you shall continue if you continue to listen to uh, these videos and that of which Blossom channels with the Federation of Light. You will continue to be reminded and you may say we don't we don't need to we know who we are but you do need to be reminded because you need that encouragement that is why we come because we understand the energies that bombard your planet and have been bombarding your planet and how difficult it is for you to remain in that shining light of love that you are. And I would say, especially, my friends, in these times now, we have spoken of this. We have spoken of it all. But now it is that the shift that is taking place is stirring up energies like you have never felt before. I am shown to blossom as I am speaking of a, a digger. And when you have, I would put it in the sense of for a while, it is as if a spade has been going into the soil and digging up these energies, if we put it like that. Now, things are to become very different. So as if a digger is going right down and digging up these energies, it is so much more uh, profound now. And so therefore, the deeper that digger goes, the more energies that are coming up and disrupting your being. Because you are involved, whether you like it or not. These darker energies, as we have said, are holding on by their fingertips, if we put it that way. They will try to create any force of darkness that they have left. But we have told you over and over, long before what took place last week, the light has won. You are the light. Therefore, within yourself, when you are feeling a little upset and confused about everything that is banded about at the moment, Say to yourself, know within yourself, I have won. I have won because I am the light. And I agreed to be here at this time to make this light anchor into the planet 
to beautiful Mother Gaia. And as you think of this, see all the dark clouds rolling away. And blue skies, green grass and trees and leaves like you have never seen. Because as that darkness is removed completely, it is as if the veil has lifted. And you will see things with fresh eyes because that darkness is not there anymore. Do you feel the significance of this? We are not saying that this is happening overnight. That is not so. And we have said that over these coming months, so much turmoil shall affect you. And we do not wish to be fear-mongering anyway. We are just saying that is more than likely what is going to take place. And that is why you are prepared and you are ready to be the light that you came here to be the light that you know yourself to be. The love that you feel within you, that you know is within you to give out to everything. <coughs> everything. And by that I also mean those who you may feel much hatred and Blossom is aware from the uh, messages she received in her, her computer inbox, how much hatred one can feel for another. And may I say with respect, those, those sentences that were written about hatred for another, Deep hatred came from those who have been following these messages for a long time. Have they not taken on board? Have they not allowed themselves to understand more of themselves? Clearly not, for how could they use such expressions of hatred towards another? if they had fully remembered who they are. Give your love to everything and everyone. If you find it hard to send love to those you feel you hate, then take yourself up to a higher place from your human factor. Take yourself up and out and send love to everyone and everything without putting an individual into it. And yet I say to you, Blossom is saying no, but I am saying yes. Are you grown up enough now? to send love to those you really have a hatred for? Have you evolved in yourself that much that you are able to do that? I leave that one with you. And now Blossom is aware that uh, another energy, I am aware I have said my piece, and that another energy is now to to join us. Many thanks, my friends. You know I will pop in again at the end.
It is most unusual. For an energy to enter into blossom and immediately express who they are. Yet it came through to her straight away that I would like to say, we as a consciousness would like to say, I am an angel of peace. And Blossom is saying that is most unusual to have an angel speak through. But what do you consider an angel to be? Immediately on hearing Angel of Peace, did you not visualize of the wings, the feathered wings or the golden wings, however you see by your choice an angel to be? How do you portray an angel? Yet we are showing to this lady now light, shining light beaming out. And within that shining light, she is able to see the deepest color of blue. Within your everyday thoughts of light and love and truth, I am. Remember peace. We are not suggesting that you include I am peace within the mantra. So be it if that feels correct for you to do so. We are merely suggesting that with every breath you take, you think thoughts of let there be peace upon this planet. Over and over, let there be peace. And then when you feel correct to do so, say to yourselves, there is peace upon this planet. There is peace upon this planet and feel this peace within you and send this peacefulness full of peace out to your world. Peace. Imagine that. Continue to imagine that. A world where there is no war, no fighting, no hatred, no jealousy, no greed, just love and peace. Sending peace, being peace towards one another. Peace is to come. Do you fully agree with that? Do you fully know inside of you that peace is to come to your planet? And you, 
Which one? The ones that are creating this peace. You are the ones that are making this happen right here, right now. You have waited so long, have you not? You have become impatient at times. Yet throughout those times, you have been preparing your being to step into action. And that time is here. Feel it within you that you came here to rid this planet of darkness and bring peace to your world that has suffered more than most understand. You are replacing all the dark that has entered in and is now leaving. You are replacing it with your light, your peace, your joy, your laughter, your love. Can you imagine? Can you feel? The change that is coming because of you? So many say, I am not worthy. I am not good enough. How can I, etc., etc.? No. No, you not. We know. We are just here this day to remind you. Do not give up. Do not give in when you may stumble across that which may disturb you greatly. Breathe love when such things Come in to your knowledge. Remember at all times, all times, why you are here. We are so honored to speak to you this day for you, as it has been said many, many times, are the strongest of the strong. And that's why you are here. So much love is sent into your beingness from those who do not reside upon your planet, for those who reside within their soul self in many, many different places, in many different dimensions. All of them sending you strength and love for this remarkable transformation. That is so incredible. You will be lying out at night 
looking at the stars in awe of all that has taken place, in awe of all that now is. Remember, dearest ones, we are with you always. Blossom was just waiting to see if that was the end of it or if anybody else was waiting in the wings. But we feel that that is enough for today. I stare like this because I desire that you feel my love to each one of you. That you feel my love through Blossom's eyes. She does not want me to say this once more. This is a continuum today and most unusual. But I wanted to say her beautiful blue eyes, but her, uh, she, she was a little uh, concerned about that of flattery, if you like. So my friends, my friends, my dearest friends, keep on keeping on. There is a way to go yet. The plan has to continue. The divine plan must continue to play itself out. Be prepared. Be prepared as if to put cement blocks around your ankles to ground yourself. For well, there will be so much that is to come that will be said that will make you want to fly off with the fairies. The energies that are to incur at this time will be so intense. And so it would be necessary for you to remain grounded and to check in with yourselves as often as you need to. And remember to breathe, say the mantra, say whatever makes you feel strong. And know, my dearest friends, know that all is well. All is well. And the thing I often say is all is not as it seems. And each one of you will make your own mind up about how that feels, how that sentence works in your mind. All is not as it seems. For you are all so different in your thoughts and opinions. And yet each one of you knows that the reason you are here is to transform this planet into light once again. So until next time, my friends, I bid you adieu. We give thanks to the Divine Oneness for allowing this chat to take place. We ask always 
that we may remain humble in order to serve and to receive, and that we may continue to walk boldly as the light and the love. Adieu, my friends. Adieu. <laughs>